Hello and welcome back ladies and gentlemen. So still on widgets here. Um, now with our current widget we've seen how to add extra fields and all that but the widget that we want to add is specifically for displaying uh, certain type of posts here. In particular most popular posts, the ones that have most views. Now in order for us to do that we need to be able to know how many views each post has. So let me uh, first explain how WordPress saves data for posts. So let's go to our PHP my admin and I'm going to go to our WordPress uh, database here and let's take a look what's going on under the hood. So we have this, <coughs> excuse me, WP posts, right? So that's where our posts reside. Now one thing you must <coughs> So I hope I'm not coming down with a flu here. So one thing you must uh, keep in mind is that everything in WordPress is, almost everything is a post. So whether it's a page, it's still a post as well. So for example, the sample page here, which you see here, and the only way it knows this is not a post, but a page is because it has a post type right here. So there's post type, which is page. This is a post, that's a page. And so you can see the post types that are here. Attachments, the images, I think. So you can create your own post types as well. Uh, maybe we'll get to that in this series. But what I want to draw attention, your attention to is this uh, post meta data here. Now what happens is that there's a generic number of columns in this table. Now, what happens if somebody wants to add views, for example? So here we don't have a views column. So what WordPress doesn't want is somebody adding extra columns here, which will just, uh, because WordPress is meant to be used by lay people that do not know how to do coding or even how to check databases like this. So WordPress should be able to add what are called, um, what do they call them, custom fields, so to speak. So instead of adding them like this, instead it has this table post meta. So let's click on it. <clears throat> so this one is what gives uh, WordPress the ability to add extra columns. So what they did in here is that they just give an ID. For example, there's meta ID, there's a post ID, and then there's a meta key and meta value. So what's happening here is that the columns are inside rows like this. So let's say I want to add a view column to my posts. So what will happen, instead of adding a column here, which we need some programming knowledge, what WordPress would do is it's just going to write the post ID and then specify the column name, which is called meta key here, and then its value. So for example, let's say I have a post uh, with a, an ID of two, like this one. So it's going to save information as post ID two, and then I want to have a column called views. So it's going to add a meta key as views, and then the value of those views may be 10 or 20, depending on what the view count is. And so when somebody visits another post, it's just going to add a post ID and give it a meta key, which is the column name, and then its value and so on and so forth. So this is not a very convenient way of doing things, but at least it's flexible. Because you can imagine if you've got a thousand posts and each one has, uh, let's say one meta column. So we're going to have a thousand rows in here, one for each uh, column, okay? Now that's not bad, but imagine if you've got five uh, custom fields for each post. So for each post, there's going to be five rows of data. So if posts are a thousand, then you're going to have 5,000 records in that situation. So not very ideal, but it works. So let's see, uh, and adding a, a meta field here in WordPress is quite easy. Now there are several ways you can do this because it's very possible as well in WordPress to connect directly to the database. Oh, there's a plain, uh, making quite an amount of noise here. Uh, what was I saying? Yes, there's, um, uh, there's a simple way to access uh, these meta fields uh, because they're functions that were created. 
but another way is you can connect directly to the database uh, which we will see how to do that in uh, future videos but for now let's use the simple way where there's a function so let's look at this function that says um, uh, let's start with this one update post meta so this is the function right here so what this function does is it takes in a post ID and then takes in a meta key and then a meta value so pretty straightforward and then uh, mixed previous value what does previous value do uh, to check before updating if specified only update exist existing meta entries with this value okay so the, sometimes you can use the same meta uh, key for several pieces of data and uh, you may want to use uh, previous value Anyway, let's see an example of how we can use this so that we understand what's going on. So here I'm going to go to the very end of our, um, our database here. So we're in post meta, uh, post meta, yes. So let's see if we're going to create a meta key right here. So before even doing anything in, um, in the widgets area, let's make sure that we leave a copy of our widgets so i'm going to open this folder and i'm just going to duplicate the widgets.php this is just a copy to keep because it has the basic requirements for a widget that way if i delete what's in here i can always come back to this one and make copies so what i want here for example is because i know that the widget displays in here right this is the widget function so i know that it's going to run whenever i run the home page this code here will run so what i want to do is remove all of this here because i won't be adding any inputs i won't be expecting any user input so the all this is irrelevant for now so what i want to do is just update i'm just going to say update uh, post meta like this okay and then in here we want um yeah we just want to add hard-coded information so here i'm just going to create a post id at random i'm just going to say post id number 20 120 like this so maybe that can be a number or some text uh, not really so post id we've given that's just a random number i just want to show you that it adds the record quite okay and then there is a meta key which is a string so we want to use views here we want to call it views and then we want to add a value so let's add a value maybe one view actually this is this should be a number because it's an id so let's save this right there we go one and then now i want to go back to my uh, blog now once i refresh this what um, it won't display anything here because we've removed everything that needs to be displayed there but it's going to run that code which will create a record so let's click on browse again and see if we get that let's go to the end uh, so as you can see here there's a meta id but then there's a post id and then there's a meta key here which we've written views and then we've added one as the the value there so that's how you add meta data it's that simple so what i want to do though is to read from the database so i'm just going to say get meta uh, what's the function again get post meta like so and then uh, a similar thing that we're going to do here is we're going to add a post id so let's go back and see what actually we need to do so post id we need to put a key which is the meta um what is it called so this one is going to be views in our case and then single if uh, whether it's true or false now if you put false here which is the default um what it will do is it because this thing can save multiple um types of data maybe you've you saved it as an array if you put this as false then it's going to return a valid array for you to use 
instead of returning a string that you have to convert back to an array. So it will do that for you. But in our case, it's a single value, so we're going to use true there. So we put a post um, ID here. So these two remain the same. And let's put that there. So because we are reading, now we are reading from the database. Now, keep in mind that if you update, this one says update, right? It doesn't say insert, it's update. So what it does is it checks if this exists, if there's a post with this uh, post ID and there's an entry with this post ID and a key of views. If it doesn't exist, it to create one. If it exists, then you to just update it. In the same way, if this does not exist, it will return an empty string to avoid causing errors. So here we're just going to put true because we know it's a single value. So here I'm just going to say views is equal to like this. Okay, so views is equal to meta post meta. And then I'll get whatever the view is here and just add one to it and update. So views plus one like this. So this will effectively uh, keep showing me the view count and then here all I can do is echo the view count and I'm just going to say views and then I'll add uh, views like so. Simple and straightforward. So let's see how this will work. So let's come back here and I'm going to refresh the page and I see views is one, right? That's okay. If I now refresh, I see two, right? If I refresh again, I see three. So you, you get the idea here. Uh, if I go to the database and try to refresh this page, let's go back to the end here and you will see, there we go. We have four, even though it's showing three here, it's four. And the reason is because we are actually updating before reading. So that's, that's what we should have swapped these two like this. Because once we uh, read the information, then we update, we add one, and then that's when we show the views, which does not take into account what we have updated. So we're supposed to move this lower like this, and uh, this should work just fine. Okay, so here, uh, okay, so that updates. Now, the only problem is we don't have views here. So that will cause an error. So instead, what we could do is just read it again right here. After updating, we read it again and then we get. So if I refresh this, we'll see a skip to five instead of four. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so you get the idea. So the only thing here we have to keep in mind is the post ID because that's the key to um, retrieving the correct information for a particular post. Okay, so at least we have this information. So let's cut this out of here. For now, we'll leave this empty. Let's take this to the, um, where is this? The single view. Now, if I go back to my database, of course, this is a useless uh, column now, so I can just delete it. We don't need it because it's talking about just some random data. Now, what I want is when I click on, let's say, hello world to read more on this, I want it to show me the view count somewhere, maybe at the top here. So let's see what we can do about that. So I've cut this information here and let's go to the single.php. This is a single page here and right underneath here, uh, or maybe on single post itself, Let's go here. Uh, maybe that would be more, yeah, more in line with what we are seeing here. So text align center, and then we see the post thumbnail. So maybe we can add this right down here. So I'm just going to add PHP code over there. All right, so this only runs, this part only runs if we are viewing the single page. So we just put this here. Now, instead of, um, uh let's see here instead of using 120 here uh, we want to get the post id because it's not really 120 all the time so let me close this so i don't save unnecessary information 
But what I want to do is just echo uh, get the wait a second I've forgotten how to get the post ID can you believe that so the goodness is I can just search here so post uh, ID okay let me go back to the reference here and go to theme development I've forgotten how the post ID looks like so I can always find this once I forget in the loop here in the theme handbook so in case you forget something uh, this is invaluable information in the developer section so you see there it is the ID so the underscore ID so get the ID so I was almost there okay let's see if that will actually work refresh okay so i see this id of one there now if you notice what i did here is that there's the id as the function but here i've written get the id so usually what uh, happens here is wordpress has this the id like this so if i do this it's going to echo the id itself because the function has an echo function inside it so you see, I still get that one, even though I haven't put the word echo. But there are times when I want to put this ID inside a variable. I don't want to echo it. So this is why I will do something like this. I'll use get the ID. So they made two functions for each, one that does an echo, one that just returns the value if you put get at the beginning. So I want this to be inside, uh, I'll just say post underscore id like this and say equal to so then i get my post id from there and then now i can replace every instance of 120 with an actual post id like this so this means now i'm uh, saving data for a very specific post here and uh, right here i can echo uh, views just like this and maybe I can add in a uh, font awesome here as well. I'm not sure what the class name is, but let's try that. Let's just say class is equal to FA, FA. Oh, sorry here, I should use single quotes since this is inside an echo. FA, FA, I think it's I like this. So views. Pew, pew, pew. And then let's leave a space there as well. So let's see how that works out. Uh oh, what have I done? This is on line eight where there's a problem right here. Uh, post ID. Okay, views plus one. Oh sorry about that so what's happening here is i'm trying to add uh, views because if views does not exist yet it brings an empty string and uh, that causes a problem so you cannot add an empty string to one like this so instead what we will do is put a question mark so here what i'm going to say is views is equal to um, or just put an if statement after this. I'm just going to say views is equal to uh, the question mark is going to be uh, if it's equal to an empty string like this, then set it to zero. Otherwise, set it to views itself. Okay, that should solve the problem. So this will make sure that uh, views is an integer. Or what I could do is just put int like this at the beginning that will parse it as an integer to start with so let's see if we can get that to work with just that okay so there we go views one now i doesn't show up i'll find out what the font awesome uh, version is for showing an i uh, i'm not sure what it is here but uh, let's put a break tag on this one as well so at the very end let's add a break tag and close that okay and let's refresh 
so that it's right at the top here. So views, so we can say post views, that's entirely up to you. Okay, so at least now we have views for each one of these. So refresh, there we go, post views three. Let's go to the home page and let's click something else like this one. And you see post views one. If I refresh, I get post views two, etc. etc. So now that we have something here to uh to show the views, then we can add we can use that to retrieve information from the database and display it here as posts. Okay, so let's do that in the next video.